In a world divided into three totalitarian superstates, Oceania, Eurasia, and East Asia, I find myself in Airstrip 1, once known as Great Britain, now a province of Oceania. The party, led by the enigmatic Big Brother, rules with an iron fist. His face is everywhere with the chilling caption, Big Brother is watching you. It's a constant reminder of the party's omnipresence. The party seeks to control every aspect of life. They manipulate the past, present, and future through propaganda and historical revisionism. I work at the Ministry of Truth, where my job is to rewrite historical records to fit the party's narrative. Their slogans, war is peace, freedom is slavery, and ignorance is strength, are paradoxical mantras that echo in the minds of the citizens. But I can't ignore the truth. I've started to rebel secretly. I've fallen in love, a forbidden act in this world. I've sought the truth about the party, risking everything. In this world of perpetual war, surveillance, and manipulation, independent thinking is a crime. The thought police are always watching, ready to punish any thought crime. It's a grim existence, but it's the only one we know. As the dream unfolds, I'm caught and tortured by the thought police. They break me, both physically and mentally. They force me to betray my love and accept the party's control over reality. In the end, I find myself in the Chestnut Tree Cafe, broken and alone, loving Big Brother. In room 101, where I offer Julia my love, up for torture in my place, I am released from the Ministry of Love. Then I suddenly wake up from this horrible dream and thank God for it not being a reality. I then reflect upon my dream. I realize that it was a thought-provoking and chilling exploration of a dystopian society where totalitarianism had reached its peak. Set in a bleak future, the dream delved into the consequences of unchecked government power, mass surveillance, and the manipulation of truth. The omnipresent figure of Big Brother symbolized the oppressive regime that controls every aspect of citizens' lives. Thinking about it showed that the dream was a reflection on the fragility of individual freedoms, the malleability of truth, and the dangers of a society stripped of privacy and critical thinking. The foresight into the potential abuses of authority remains relevant and present, serving as a cautionary tale about the erosion of democracy and the importance of safeguarding our rights in the face of authoritarianism. The dream's enduring impact lies in its ability to make readers question the nature of power, propaganda, and the collective responsibility to resist the encroachment of oppressive regimes. The Dream has been written as a novel entitled 1984 by George Orwell and published by Secker and Warburg in 1949.